Welcome to Tesla Joe's, where we test everyday average Joe scenarios that you might encounter in your Tesla. Hey, what's up everybody? Today we'll be looking at how to gain access to your 12 volt battery in your Tesla Model S. This procedure is valid for any dual motor Model S. The single motor or rear wheel drive motor will be a different procedure. Alright, let's get started. Here we're looking at the repair specification manual from Tesla and this is how to disconnect your 12 volt power from your dual motor version. Please follow these steps in the exact order they're specified in the Tesla manual. First you're going to want to open your frunk or your front trunk. You're going to want to go inside your vehicle, turn off your climate control system. Then you're going to want to remember to roll down your driver's side window. Then you're going to want to close all your doors and then we are going to release the storage unit or the front frunk storage area to access the 12 volt battery. Please remember to roll down your driver's side window. If you do not and you want to gain access to the vehicle, it'll be very difficult to get back in the vehicle. So please remember to roll down that window. In order to access the battery, we need to remove the underhood storage unit. Once again, this is for the dual motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel back the carpeting in that front trunk area on the top and also on the bottom that will allow us to remove four bolts and then we also need to disconnect the light in the front and also the release hatch in the front. Here we go, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the hood of my Model S. Next we're going to go into the vehicle, make sure that the climate control system is turned off. Then we're going to roll down the driver's side window. So let's talk tools. What type of tools are we going to need for today's procedure? Well, we're going to need a trim removal kit, 13 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket. We need to gain access to the bolts on the top of our storage unit here and also on the bottom. The best tool that I found to do this is a trim removal tool. And I'll include a description in the link below to the set that I have. It works very well for all sorts of different types of procedures. So we were able to peel back the carpeting on the top part to expose the top two bolts. Now what I'm working on is the bottom part to expose the bottom two bolts and also the clips to the light for the frunk and also the release hatch for the frunk. It's time to grab our eight millimeter socket so that we can remove the front two bolts on the underhood storage unit. Here I'm just using a screwdriver with the socket attached to it. You can use a ratchet or whatever you deem necessary. The bolts aren't tightened in there very tight. They're actually tightened to 4 nm per the spec manual, which is not very much at all. So they're very easy to remove. And I'm actually quite surprised that they don't jiggle loose while the car's driving. Now that we've got the front two bolts removed, we are going to move to the top two bolts which is a 13 millimeter socket. I'm going to save you the hassle of searching through all your socket wrenches for it, as you can see I'm doing here. Got a lot of different sizes, a lot of extensions, a lot of different things. But, oh, there we go. Oh wait, that's not going to work. I need the extension so that I can actually gain access to it. So make sure that you have an extension on your socket wrench as well so that it makes it easy to remove those top two bolts. Once again, 13 millimeter bolts on the top there. They're not tightened in very tight either. Eight Newton meters, which is just under six foot pounds. Now that we've removed all the bolts, we need to focus on the clips. There are two clips, one for the light in the front and one for the front release. The easiest way I found is to use your trim removal kit, tool, and or a screwdriver to unclip those. Now that we have all of the clips removed, and all the bolts removed, it's time to remove the underhood storage unit. First I do is I take the carpet out of the underhood storage unit. Now what I'm doing is I'm investigating as to how this thing's actually attached. And there's actually lots of little clips that go around the outside of it that attach to the external trim that is sitting around it. So the first thing I want to do is remove this rubber grommet that actually keeps water from getting. There's some of the clips that you can see and they're tightened in there very tight and they clip to the other parts of the plastic trim that you see. So after some experimentation I found it was easiest to remove the rubber grommet altogether and now 
those clips don't actually remove from that undercarriage, under hood storage bin by itself. The easiest way that I found to do is to remove the left and right storage panels that are next to that under hood storage unit next to the frunk. So what I'm doing here is I'm unscrewing the bolt and this is just a hand tightened bolt that holds down that piece of trim on the right side of the vehicle that we're looking at here. And it's a really long bolt so it takes a while to unscrew but then you can just remove the trim piece like I did there and the clips come right out of the under storage unit. Now we have one side removed, it's time to move on to the other side. We're going to undo the bolt and then we're going to remove that panel as well. At this point we're just about to complete step five which is the removal of the under hood storage unit and then we will move on to step six which is disconnecting the 12 volt battery ground and then we will disconnect the first responder loop and then we will wait two minutes for the system to discharge before we touch anything. It's time to remove the underhood storage unit. Just give it a firm pull towards you and the whole plastic unit is removed from the vehicle. Now we can see the inside of your Model S and as you saw there we have access to our 12 volt battery now. Here's a better look at what and where things are placed under the hood of your Model S. So on the right there we have our 12 volt battery on the left we have a cooling reservoir. Once again in this procedure all that we're doing is replacing the battery or giving access to the battery because lots of procedures require the disconnect of the 12 volt battery. The procedure also calls for the disconnect of the first responder loop. So that's the black cable that we see running across the metal there that I'm touching and you can see the tag on the far left hand side. So we also want to disconnect that. Now that we know where all the Locations are that we need to disconnect the negative ground that I'm touching there on the right hand side. Right now I'm trying to find the right size socket. Once again it's a 10 millimeter socket that will remove the parts to your 12 volt battery. So first we're going to go ahead and remove the ground to the battery. You always want to remove your ground first and that is what the spec manual calls for as well. Once we have the ground removed there you go, you can see that that's removed. We're going to pull the cap off the positive side and we are going to simply remove the first responder loop. And that is that black cable that's running there. And you can see it's attached on the front part of your 12 volt battery. So you're going to ratchet that off or unscrew that. That is also a 10 millimeter socket and just simply lift it off. I always like to put the nut back on the bolt so that I don't misplace it. And there you have it. Now your 12 volt battery has been disconnected. Thanks for watching Tesla Joe's today in our DIY session on how to access your 12 volt battery. Follow us at Tesla Joe's on Twitter and like, subscribe, and share. Check out our other content. We have other DIY content. And then we also have user testing of the different features of autopilot and advanced summon.